something out. Team World. Well, in an era of tennis kings, its founding father says farewell. As we say goodbye to Roger Federer, the finest we've ever seen. I think it definitely hit me. Maybe I was going to become emotional at the very end. Even though I did feel I was solid, you know, through the interviews and everything. Even through the game, I was super relaxed. And then, I don't know, at the end, it was just, you know, it's like, okay, I mean, this is it. And, uh, You know, kind of what happens next. <laughs> Just I guess seeing all the other players, that was hard. They were so emotional. Their whole career, I've been there. Andy, you know, I think he saw his career flash in front of his eyes. Novak, I told him things also at the very end that were very personal, you know, and that maybe triggered something with him as well. And then I think there's really two things only I realized that would trigger me, and that was Mirka and uh, the Rafa angle. It's been an amazing ride. It's been incredible to watch this journey that you've been on. It started as a boy playing tennis. You turned into a junior champion, then a world champion, and then you became a sporting icon. What has that journey been like for you? It was never supposed to be that way. Um, it's just uh, happy to play tennis and uh, spend time with my friends, really. And uh, it didn't end here, so it's been, a, it's been a perfect journey. I would do it all over again. Uh, everybody's here tonight from my family, the girls, the boys. My wife's been so supportive. And. <laughs> she could have stopped me a long, long time ago, but she didn't. She kept me going and allowed me to play, so it's amazing. Thank you.